What's up everybody and welcome to the RC Retro Channel. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at an RC that I did not even know existed. Until now that is. I was over at Phil's house the other day racing some of my cars, getting some action footage, and then out of the corner of my eye, I see him drop this yellow blob down on the track and it starts making its way around. And I was like, what is that? And Phil loves what he calls the oddballs. And he's like, you don't know the kangaroo? And I was like, no, I never even heard of it. And then he proceeded to tell me that Aristocraft High Tech, which is a company that growing up and even till now, I just knew of as a radio company, remotes, receivers, servos. He told me that they actually had a number of RC cars in the mid to late 80s, uh, one of which the kangaroo Another one Phil was telling me about was called the dolphin. And yes, it literally looks like the snout or the end front, I guess, of a dolphin. <laughs> and it's actually four wheel drive. Now, I actually decided to do a little bit more research and uh, Aristocraft High Tech made um, another RC that looked just like the dolphin. It was painted red. Uh, it was called, what was it called? The Koala. <laughs> I don't know if it was four wheel drive or two wheel drive. And then they made another four-wheel drive truck called the Wildebeest. Regardless, it didn't stick around too long. And I want to say they're probably highly collectible because there's not too many of them. Or at least I don't see any of them that often on eBay. So I always put in like vintage RC when I'm doing searches on eBay. And these never come up. So I had no idea they even, even existed. So a little bit later in the video, after the action footage, I'm going to interview Phil. And he's going to tell us a little bit more about the kangaroo and what he did to it. But some background info before we cut to the action footage is that, yes, this came out mid-80s. Um, it was around, I want to say, 100 bucks, and it was a true ready-to-run RC. Now, I remember as a kid getting a, a Kyosho Raider ARR. It was ready to run. You had to put the stickers on the body, and then you had to buy your own radio equipment. The nice thing about this was it came with the radio equipment. So for $100, you're getting a pre-built, ready-to-run RC with the radio equipment. So all you got to do is slap your batteries in there, and you are ready to rock and roll. And I think put the stickers on. Now, this one does not have the box art stickers on here. Phil made up his own stickers, and it's now radioactive. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, you couldn't go wrong back then for 100 bucks for this. And not only that, but if you look closely on here, you have two shocks in the rear. One shock in the front, they're aluminum oil filled shocks. So for a hundred bucks or a little bit more than a hundred bucks, you're getting oil filled shocks on here, aluminum ones. That's, that's great. As for the design of this, the body actually came painted already in yellow. You have a, a metal wire bumper in the rear. You have a trailing arm design that has a, a resemblance of the same shock setup as let's say a frog or the ORV chassis. Now, Phil's going to go into a little bit more depth later on uh, about this, but uh, something that I read on here that's interesting, I don't know how true it is, is that it had an open gearbox or an open diff in the rear when they first released it, and then later on, the later versions, they put a metal box around it. Not 100% sure. Uh, like I said, I didn't really even know this existed until I went over to Phil's house the other day. All right, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, so let's get out to the track. Uh, some action footage and then uh, right after that I'm interviewing Phil for about uh, two, two and a half minutes and then asking him some questions about this and uh, that's about it. So enjoy the rest of the video and um, well, it's a short one, but nonetheless, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. All right, so I'll see you all in my next video. Take care now.
All right, so tell me a little bit more about the body. All right. It only came yellow because it's Lexan, but it's yellow Lexan. It's not actually a clear polycarbonate. The window I put in, because it didn't have one, because it's supposed to be open, where the ESC sits here on the top here, and it's supposed to obviously flow through. But the wing, that those rubber mounts are designed the way it's supposed to be. That's so, not the so original wing. So it's floppy. It's floppy. That's not the original wing either. That came off of something or other. I don't know if it's a low C or whatever, but I wanted it. So that's what I did. But that's the way it's and supposed to be. you put the be. window mesh in there? I put the window mesh on it. I painted the windows black because it looked horrible, just flat yellow. So all you had to do was basically take the body and put the stickers on. Pretty much it. What about the bottom of the chassis? Oh. That's completely like... The Skeletor. There's not much to it. The best thing about it is this big skid plate that goes from the bumper halfway into the front of the chassis. And the battery just slides through and stays in place with those Nerf bars. If you know what a king cab is, it's like a king cab. You slip it in here, you push it in. Just slip it in. And that's how it stays. That's what holds it in. That's it. It doesn't fall out. Just wobbly. Just a little, little wobble. Just a little, little bit of play in there. But that's how it stays. And to pull it out, you lift up and you pull it out. No body clips, no Velcro, no nothing. Okay. The best thing about the whole goddamn car. Cool. <laughs> in case anybody's wondering what the noise is in the background, running go karts and quads over my daughter's chasing place. my son with a go kart. Full wheel drive. <laughs> Guys, shut up. <laughs> I won't put that in the video, I promise. No, please do. <laughs> <laughs> the full wheel drive um, version of this is called a Dolphin. Uh, with that in here, on this top gear, there's a cog that comes out, and down this channel, a belt or a chain, I think it's a belt comes down here and then the diff sits in here to make a four wheel drive, which has very similar front and rear tires. Um, and then the body's totally different. It's rounded off, looks like a dolphin. And that one is square. It's radioactive. Yeah. That's the closest thing I could find because this body comes yellow. There's no, it wasn't clear. And the windshield I put in. There was no windshield in it. Comes, these bodies come pre-cut and you can see they're very fragile. I'm surprised it stayed together and didn't fall apart, nothing broke. I've already broke one of these ones. I broke one of those ones, and that was just moving it around. Forget about actually driving it, but it held together. And it has shot. bushings in it, right? Yeah, it's all bushings, not even bearings in this thing. Whatever. It worked. Stayed together. It stayed together and made it through one, I don't know, how many laps did we get? 20, 25? Yeah, you ran a whole battery through it. It stayed together. And the most didn't important break. thing, didn't break, and you had fun. And it didn't break. Didn't break, <laughs> right. <laughs>